Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Neil and first of all I should start by saying Happy New Year guys. It's now 2024. Wow, time is definitely flying fast. 2023 just seemed to absolutely disappear at 100 miles an hour, especially for the stuff that I do on the channel. It was a really good year for me and it was my most successful year yet, so huge thanks to you guys who tuned in to watch. So I have two new pieces of gear here. This one here I ordered from Fair Deal Music and it is an absolute killer bargain that I stumbled across by accident. I want to show you guys this piece of gear and I'll also put a link in the description for this piece of gear as well. Also here I have a new piece of gear from my friends at Joyo. They sent this out just before Christmas and it's a really interesting piece of gear especially if you're interested in making YouTube videos or anything like that. This should enable me to be able to do live streams as well so I'm super excited about this. Uh, we'll unbox this later in the video. I just want to show you a couple of things that I got for Christmas from my wife. First of all this sign over here that every guitarist needs somewhere in their guitar room and um, this is quite handy because my uh, son's friends come in here quite a lot I want to hang that up and let them know that they should not ever touch my guitars nobody's allowed to touch my guitars apart from me in this house the other thing that I got is something that I've wanted now for such a long time for the channel it's an LED corner light we're going to unbox this I'm going to review it we're going to take a look at it in this video and that is the first thing that we are actually going to do I've wanted one of these for such a long time. I'm going to put the link down there in the description. This is actually off Timu. My wife goes on Timu a hell of a lot and she got this off Timu for me. Not sure on the price, but I'll put the link down there in the description for you guys. This is quite a tall piece of gear. I've wanted one for a long time. I have three light bars behind, as you can see, and my logo one in the corner. And I've never thought that that was quite enough. What I will say is that the three bars I've had have done really well. They do their job. They're pretty decent. I'll keep those, but I will use this as well. This is one of those that flashes to music and all that business and has like 16 different colours on it but I'm not interested in the 16 different colours, I just want another purple to uh, make the background even more vivid. The ones behind me that you see were off Amazon and um, the ones that light up my background have done that for about a year there off Amazon, they're just bars like this, they're about 15 quid. They're pretty good and they've done their job but hopefully this one will throw out a bit more light. Let's get into it, let's unbox this thing, let's set it up and let's see what it looks like. First thing I noticed about this thing is that it's not taped up at all. It just kind of comes open like that. This is what it looks like within the box. I think this is gonna take some putting together. So I'm gonna fast forward a bit in this film and the next time you see this, it will all be together. Inside the box, you get a remote control as you do with all of them. That's a pretty big remote control. And it's in just absolute tons and tons of bits. What the hell is that bit there for? I don't know. So I'm gonna, it's gonna take some putting together. Okay guys, so first of all, I just wanna say the LED strip that came on this wheel has that double-sided tape on the back, so you have to peel it off and you have to put it up the strip, which is no problem really. I wasn't looking forward to it, but when you pull off the tape off the back, it actually rips the double-sided tape off the LED strip that you need. That wasn't ideal, so when that came off with the tape, I had to reapply it all and it was everywhere, all knotted up and it was an absolute nightmare. That's the first thing that I found that it's bugging me. The second thing is that actually there's some screws missing. It looks like I get two Allen keys with this thing. One is a big one that screws this pole to the base and the other one is a little one which should screw the legs on. However, there are no screws for the legs, so the legs are just wobbling about. But I'll show you that in a minute, how wobbly this thing really is. So when I said the box had been opened, it looks like it's been sent back for whatever reason and it's gone back and the screws are missing out of it, I'm assuming, or something like that. So not great okay guys so just so you can see how bad the lean is on this thing like it's a good job this is going to go in the corner because one the legs just drop off because of the screws missing which i've previously mentioned to you guys but also like, look at the lean on it you know or maybe on a total you know maybe on no carpet it might stand up but that's bad and that's with me controlling it with my f it just doesn't stand up at all now one of the legs has come off with me moving it around so yeah that's what it does. Um, will it light up the corner of the room as I want it to? Yeah, it probably will. It will go over there, add a bit of uh, nice atmospheric lighting to the place. But now, guys, I'm going to open this package here. This was from Fair Deal Music. Basically, I got an email from Fair Deal Music, and it was about it was like a Black Friday style email, you know, things, what's in the sale, stuff like that. I never usually click on them because I get stuff direct from brands, but I just thought out of interest, I'll click on this link and see if there's anything available that I really like. I'm looking out, I've got my eye out for a base actually. So that's the reason I clicked on it to see if there's any super bargain bases. There wasn't, there was not much guitar related really that was um, available that shouted out, you know, bargain to me apart from these. These are headphones. I've forgotten the brand name, but the brand name is not what made me buy 
these things. It was actually the price that they were previously listed at, which according to Fair Deal Music was 126 quid. Okay, now what struck me about these was um, that they were marked down from 126 pounds to 15.99 i think it was with postage they came to 18.99 over here in the uk and i thought you know what if these are 126 pounds worth of ear buds you know then i'm gonna try them because i usually buy uh, j labs for the gym and i use them in the gym and they sound great for the money but they're usually about 50 to 60 quid and they hook around the ear and everything these ones don't hook around the ear um these are v mode hexa move light okay so they reckon that these are worth 126 pounds. I don't know whether they sound any good or not, to be honest, but reduced to 15.99, you can't go wrong, you know. For 15.99, can you even get this style of earbud um, if it's not just some kind of Timu knockoff or something? I'm not sure you can. So yeah, I was pretty pleased with that. The link for that is down there in the description below. These come in red, black, and white, by the way. Um, from what I can remember, there was six hours of play time and then 18 hours using the rechargeable thing. You know, like when you put them away and you plug them back in to the case, um, the case provides 18 hours. And I think them themselves without the case provides six hours from what I can remember, but I'm just going off memory here. So I'm going to crack this open. We'll get into it. The packaging is nice. You can tell that they're not cheap. It's not a cheap product, you know, from the packaging. I always think oh, I've ripped it to shreds. I've ripped it, so I've ruined it anyway. Um, full of cold here, by the way, again. As you can probably tell with my voice. Jesus. So these come in a really nice little box look. Like I said, packaging like this is usually... You would expect something to be pretty expensive with this kind of packaging. Kind of Apple-ish. You know, I always refer to Apple because they do packaging like this. Um, so here they are. So a nice little box there. All foam padded out. I guess there'll be some instructions underneath when you pull this tab. Whoa. Oh, there's the USB charge. Different attachments as always for your ears, whichever size your ears are. Um, USB charging cable. Wow. A massive instruction booklet. Oh, we don't need that just for headphones for the gym because that's where I'll be using them. But um, they look like this. The carrying case looks like it's pretty beefy. It's pretty big carrying case compared to other ones that I've had, if I'm totally honest. That thing's flashing its nuts off over there. So there you go, inside the case it looks like this. I hope there's some charge in them so I can actually listen to them. Because I'm filming on my phone, I will have to turn my phone off for you guys. Play some music or I'll play a song, I don't know. Play some kill switch, something like that, Lamb of God, maybe. I'll play some of that, I'll listen to it on these, and I'll let you guys know what they sound like when I come back on. Okay, guys, so they sounded pretty cool, actually. I didn't mess around with the EQ or change the way they sound or anything like that. I just put them in stock as they were set, and they sounded pretty good. One thing I will say is they were pretty hard to connect to my iPhone. I did get them connected in the end, but it took some finding, it took some doing, um, it took some figuring out. But once I got them going, they sounded pretty nice, they sounded pretty good. For $15.99, $18.99, I think it was with the postage, you can't go wrong, guys, yeah. Um, super, super great piece of gear there, total bargain. Link will be down there below in the description. Right, let's get on with it. Let's get on to the exciting stuff now. <coughs> so this here is something, so this here is something that my good friends at Joyo have sent me out, and I basically got asked loads of questions about how to record YouTube videos on a budget into your iPhone or your Samsung or whatever mobile device or tablet you, you use. And I gave, I made a video about it and I gave people a few options, but then I thought I'm going to get on Google because, you know, it's been a while since I looked anything like this up and I looked what gear there was around, you know, what was small, what was compact and what was good at getting you know, numerous inputs, I guess, into your mobile phone to do like a live stream or to make a YouTube video similar to the one I'm doing right now. And this little gem here popped up from the guys at Joyo. So as soon as I saw it, I got in touch with Joyo and I said, hey guys, can you send me one out? Um, it's called the Momix, okay, the Momix Pro, and it's a very small, compact device you hook up your mobile to there's various inputs on here you can go direct with your guitar you can go in um, from a mic you know into an XLR 
input um, you can jam along to music in there you can have music coming in through a feed through your phone you can jam along live you can do podcasts you can do uh, have a vocal mic but have your guitar going into an input what i will probably use this for is going into a pedal such as the ampero mini um, something like that by hot tone you know i'll go into that and then probably go from that into here and then be able to do a live stream and show you some of my settings. That is the idea that I'm going to do. I'm going to dial tones in live there and then so you guys can hear them and see them. And I'll do a little tutorial on how I've got it all linked up, how I've got everything wired up, you know, where all my cables are going and everything like that. Now, if this Momix is really good sound quality for you guys on the other end, then I will probably use this rather than use a big mixing desk. Because at the moment I've been using the Zoom R20, which is a big thing like this that I have to plug into the mains and everything. It's pretty big, getting it out is a bit of a pain. I've got it set up just right so I can be quick with making my videos, but something like this that's small, more portable, can go on a desktop, you know, um, really appeals to me. Obviously you get a user manual. Just to show you this thing before I get off and let you guys get on with your day. This is how compact that it actually is. Um, there's quite a lot going on on there. There is um, three USBs here on the top, so I'm guessing you can stream out three times. There's an XLR um, there for channel two. Channel one also has an XLR as well. There are main outs here, and there are, I guess, instrument ins here as well. Don't know if you guys can see that. I'll do some close-ups and put them on the screen as we're talking our way through this. You can monitor each channel individually. So you've got two channels here that you can monitor. You've got an instrument you can monitor here and you've got your main output there. Um, obviously you would have headphones going in, coming out, sorry, of this as well. I'm just looking where they are. They're along the bottom there. Wow, there's even more stuff going on on the bottom. So you have a headphones out, two monitor outs. There's a lot, an auxiliary in there. So an auxiliary in, two head, uh, auxiliary in, sorry, a headphone out two monitor outs and another USB, which I'm assuming may power it. You know, I'm not sure there is something else. So let me see how this thing is actually powered. I'm assuming your phone will not be able to power something that does this amount of stuff. So it looks like they supply you with all the USBs. There's one there and there's two more in here as well so basically everything you need other than your instrument is supplied um, I guess these will be suitable to whatever mobile device you are using I use lightning a lightning connector let's see if there is one in there I think this could be it no, so that's like a USB-C and a jack as well. That will be probably to help you send music to jam along to in into the Momix. Let's see what this one is. Just wondering if there's a lightning. Whoops. Connect it in there. What's this? Please be a USB. Please be a lightning adapter. Let's see if it is. I can't get it out. I think it is. Where is it? Come on, baby. Oh, it's loads of adapters. Oh, wow. Right, so Joy, I've got you covered big time with this. Not only do they give you all the USB cables that you could possibly need, they also give you two lightning adapters to go onto the USB-C as well for all us old school iPhone users. So that's a pretty great piece of kit. There's a hell of a lot going on for such a compact device. It's all about sound quality for me. Does it sound great? Does it do its job? We'll find out in the demo. If you're interested in seeing this piece of gear, then please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Anything that you have seen within this demo, the links will be down there below in the description. Hope you're having a great new ge gear. <laughs> Hope you're having a great new gear year, guys. Uh, see you all soon.